Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Ratchet and Clank, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I'm still in Nebula G34, and right now we're at this point where I ended off the last episode. I'm going to disable that force field, and as far as that alien goes, I'm just going to use the bomb glove, because that seems to be the best course of action, even though I'm targeting the frogs. I don't want to target the frogs, because they're easy. In fact, I can just use the Suck Cannon to absorb them, like so. And I'll disable that Force Field as well, even though in retrospect I should have taunted them first. Now that I think about it. So I'll just use a Glove of Doom, and I'll target these enemies over here. Should not be a problem, all I have to do is like, make sure it lands on their platform. There, now just go for the kill! Surprisingly, it took four of them to destroy that enemy. There. That works, too. Should taunt these enemies over here, because there's like three of them. Yeah, <laughs> one of them just fell. It's like freaking Star Wars. Alright, so I can't use the taunter on these, but on that I could. Actually, I think rather than just waste ammo, I can do this. There, that works. Okay, there is a skill point you can get later on as well when you take on the first boss. So I'll definitely be sure to show that off. Yeah, seven episodes in and right now we're getting to our first boss. Might as well disable this force field so that I can actually get back here again rather than go the long way in case I die. How's my health doing? Yeah, it's pretty good. I had to grind for some more bolts off camera, just to make sure I have plenty for later on. Alright, so now we gotta take on the Alien Queen. To get a skill point, you have to defeat this boss using your wrench only. Touching its body will not hurt you, it's just when it dive bombs on your face that it will. When you do enough damage, it'll just release some frogs. I believe you have to use your wrench against them as well. Up, oh, that's bad. Oh. Luckily, there's plenty of health over here. Oh, I was just about to go for the health and I die. And it sent you back here! Well, bull crappers. And because all the force fields are gone, oh my god. You have to use the ammo. Oh. Man, that sucks. No, I didn't want to go buy ammo. Huh, nice of them to actually retreat. Oh, that guy's gonna buy stuff. We should just leave him alone. Well, wait till he's ready, okay? Apparently, aliens believe in a code of honor. I mean, they don't want to eat dishonorable people. Or eat on dishonorable stomach. I mean, really. Why would you wanna? So we gotta try this again. My practice is I did it just fine. Like, I took like one or two hits from the frogs. No big deal. But I didn't outright die. Uh, yeah, I'm close enough to target that enemy. Good. There we go. I only need to go this way. Rather than go the long way, thankfully. Yeah, I forgot there's three of them. Okay, we should be good. Round two against the boss. First phase I did perfectly. It was just the frogs that got me. I don't know if you get penalized for hitting the other enemies with any other weapon than your wrench, but I'd rather play it safe. I mean, if you defeat the boss, it's not like you only have one shot, and then you can't get it again. There are plenty of chances, like whenever you leave and then you return. I don't think that was a smart strategy. Just get them all in one group. Luckily, there's a finite amount of frogs. And then the boss will start attacking you again. Believe it or not, that's not the worst of it. 
You got the regular size aliens that'll be coming up after this. Luckily, there's only two of them. And they're actually separated. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's even worse. Okay, that's actually a good strategy. Just use, like, a uh, two big strikes. Okay, I almost got this thing beaten. Nah, it's beaten. And you get a skill point automatically. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, we're done with this area, so we should fill up on health. Actually, an easier way to get rid of most of these boxes is just use your taunter. Not just good against enemies, you can just use them on boxes. From a nice distance, they'll just implode instantly. Okay, this is the way I want to go, too. Alright, it should be easy going from here on out, I hope. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Hey, can you leave this guy alone? Thank you. Thought I was a goner this time. Some nano wit in genetics must have left the cages open again. You could come down now. Honestly, Please. a gadget engineer deserves a bit more respect, if you ask me. So, you are an inventor. Gadget engineer. I create revolutionary devices for executive chairman Drek. For instance, Viola. Viola. Uh, soon to be patented. Grind. Bits. It's Voila. Look, I, I, I need to get out of here so I can find a new job. How about I sell you these? At cost. Sell? After we just saved your scrawny butt? All right, all right. I'll give you the employee discount, too. The employee discount of one bolt instead of 2,001 bolts, you get it for 2,000 because it's arbitrary. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna get out of here while I still can. <laughs> okay, so now we got the new grind boots, and they're good against rails. Why do I have the stock cannon? I meant the taunter. Sorry, I had the stock cannon for those smaller enemies. Alright, I should get these grind boots equipped, because as of now, they're not. And all you have to do is just go on some kind of rail, and there you go. It's like you're a friggin' Tony Hawk, man. Only without the humanity. Okay, you don't want to tip too much, otherwise you would just fall to your death. You can jump on it, which is pretty good. In case you want to get some bolts that are in the air. Well, that was pretty fun, but we're done with this place for good. Well, actually, we do gotta come back once we're able to get that other gold bolt. Which, right now, I cannot reach. Alright, so it's time for us to head over to Blackwater City in Rilgar. There's two gold bolts, you have to win the hoverboard race and locate Captain Quark. So, let's go! It's nice to be done with that place, because that was just a pain in the ass for the aliens. Just when I thought I could rush between them, you can't. It's nice to get some new scenery for a change. Hmm, looks pretty dark and dreary here. But again, very well industrialized. But first, let's just do some shopping and see what we can get. Well, we can get a new weapon. The, uh, Mine Glove. So, yeah, I'll buy it. I don't want to get any new ammo, though. Alright, so what does the Mine Glove do other than just lay mines? Oh, that's all it does, lay mines. And you can blow it up just by whacking it or just wait for enemies to approach. There's pretty much better weapons though, so I don't think I'm going to be sticking with it. Looks like I gotta go this way? I believe so, there's no other way to go. Actually, I could have gone to the right. Let me try going to the right instead. Let's see where that takes me. If you go in the water, you're eventually going to be eaten by, by a fish, so you might want to avoid that. 
I can't go this way, can I? Yes, I can. So let us do that. I'm gonna open that door, I'm gonna need that switch. I know what you're up to. Whoa, whoa, that's a tank. Can I blow that up? I think I can. Okay, that vapor is actually preventing the tank from being attacked by explosive weapons. So I guess I'll have to use my blaster. Fair enough. As long as it works. And there we go. You know when I practiced this, I actually went the other way. I didn't even go this way. So this is going to be new terrain for me. But either way, we're going to be here a while. Cause, I mean, let's look at the map. Yeah, it looks pretty big. But the two objectives are actually very close to each other. However, chances are we have to go through, like, opposite sides. Oh, we'll end up over here anyway. That works for me. Can't really swing shot my way through. So I have to do this. No reason to blow that up. And there's another door. No, no, not, not the suck cannon. Not the glove of doom, you scum! You die in explosive agony and ecstasy. What the hell are you supposed to be? Okay, apparently you can split up into smaller pieces. You're like amoeba. Ow. Slime creatures. Okay, I'm down to 50% health already. Well, luckily there's one over here. I do look stylish in these grime boots. At least I'm actually able to do these levels not barefooted. I'd imagine that's very uncomfortable. I mean, most of where you're standing is either metal or it's full of dirt. It's like if you don't get like calluses on your feet from that, I don't know what will give them to you. Hmm. There's an easier way to deal with these guys. Let's try this. Ah, uh, they're too far away. There, I'll create a bridge for myself so I can reach them a bit better. Would you like some doom with this glove? What the hell are the other ones doing? Why are you guys going for me? Go, go, go over there! Do I have to do this myself? Like... Are they just not exploding anymore? Oh my god, that that is weird. They're not supposed to be doing that. They're supposed to blow up. They're supposed to be killers. You're not doing your job. Last time I get Chinese death bots. Come on. Oh, oh, now you work. You, you just wanted to go for the slime creatures. You didn't want to go for the robots. I don't understand your logic, guys. Are you just programmed for specific targets? You should be going for whatever I tell you to. I need better coding for these Glove of Doom robots. At this rate, I'm gonna start going to the Mind Glove. I don't want to, but still, it's an option. Can't go through that door. Can I go through this one? There might be a switch that's keeping me from going there. Wait, oh, there's a switch. Oh, it opened both of them! As long as they keep chasing me, I got something to chase them. I took some dumb damage. Camera work ain't the best in this game. But it's better than most games. It actually gives you some control. Uh, do I want to do stuff with this? I probably do. 
I don't know where this is gonna take me, so let's try the other way. Oh, this, this is just a spot for enemies. It doesn't really go anywhere. Because I have to go this way, then. Fair enough. Hopefully it takes me somewhere I need to be. Head downtown. And yeah, I'll go downtown. Hope the nightlife is as good as the battling. Uh, okay. Maybe I don't want to go downtown. It's going to be like this. No, no, no. I meant to get my weapon out. Oh, I did get it out. Okay. Go for the kill, my pretties. Preferably, effectively. Oh, there's another tank. I want to approach this situation. What? Was there an explosive in there? And this vendor doesn't sell anything new. Yeah, I guess I could get some more ammo. I don't want to buy all of it. Besides, I can get some of it here. Okay, I, I could go on that, like, manhole that's venting upward. However, I would like to take out that tank. Tanks are not that difficult if you got enough blaster ammo. Who are you? Rhino for your robot. Treat you. Well, okay, Ratchet. I'm kidding. Sorry, he's not for sale. What's a rhino anyway? Rip you a new one. What did you just say to me? R Y N O. Rip you a new one. Why? That's the most powerful missile launcher in the galaxy. I know it's worth a lot of volts. He must have stolen it from the Flars. Stolen? Look, trash can. Did I say anything about it being hot? You better watch your mouth or I'll... Wait, don't tell me. Rip you a new one. Ooh! 150,000 bolts for the Rhino! Damn! Oy, that's way, way, way too rich for my blood. Oh my god. Okay, it's gonna be a long while before I can actually afford that weapon. But once I do, man, watch out. Enemies ain't gonna stand a chance. Huh, I got an idea. Let me go to my uh, quick select. What is it I don't really use anymore? Probably not gonna be using the trespasser. Or well, actually, it's the suck cannon I won't be using anytime soon. I think I'll replace it with the mind glove. And then I'll leave. I'm gonna place the mine right over here. Did it land in the right spot? Oh god, it landed right over here. Okay. I'm gonna let these enemies come out to play. And then when they do, this happens. I think the mines actually get attached to the enemies. Wait, let me get on this manhole. It might take me somewhere good. I can go up here. Nice. Yeah, there's another stash of boxes over here. Does the steam actually hurt you? I don't think I want to test that theory yet. Maybe I will soon enough. However, for now, I'd rather just get as much currency as possible. Some people are thinking, well, why don't you just, like, not buy any new weapons until you can get the Rhino, and then you can invest on the other weapons later. I could do that, however, I'm a very curious guy, and sometimes I'm very stubborn. So I'd rather try to get everything, and then save up for the Rhino, because God knows how long it's gonna take later. Did I get up on this manhole? Yeah, I did. Okay. Hmm, where can I go? I can go up here. Hopefully I can get a new gadget that won't cost me an arm and a leg. There's a big room over there that looks very suspicious. It's a cave, okay. Is this where I want to go? I believe I do. 
me destroy all these before I go down there and deal with the slime creatures. Another one of those nodes. I'm getting very curious as to them now. Because I keep seeing them in almost every stage. But again, not really a clue or what gadget I would need to use them. I think I'm approaching the end of the perimeter now. Yeah, I am. Hope I can go down there. Wait, do I have to do it from the inside of the ring, or do I have to go outside to go that way? Oh, I can actually just get back up anyway if I wanted to. Oh, slime freaks! I got a little something for ya. You know, if it actually works. Thank you. Here, I'll give you another one. I actually thought I was going to miss that enemy. Uh-oh, there's a gunner over here, too. Should I release them? Probably not. Then again, they go after the slime creatures. So I can probably use them to my advantage. They actually fight each other. When I looked in the downtown area, they were actually going against each other. So I'll just go after what's left. Okay, mostly a bunch of Blarg soldiers survived that. They're going back to their post. Now they gotta deal with me! They ain't coming home to you with their mamas after this. Unless their mamas are dead, then they'll probably go back to see them right away. Oh, jeez. I need some health. There's make no bones about it. I think they're all gone. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, as you can tell, I'm obviously not the best Ratchet and Clank player out there, but... Who really is, anyway? It's a very debatable title. Good, now I'm back to full health. Is this the way I want to go? I believe it is. Let's see where this leads. There's gonna be in, like another boss. Oh, now we're in this area. Wait a minute. I can use this. Oh, I think they're too disciplined. There's a gold bolt over here. Wait, this stuff can't even hurt you. However... Oh, okay. It's not gonna work either. I actually do have to release them. Maybe I can just use another mind glove. Ah, it worked! Got like two out of three, eh? That's not bad. Touch that, I dare ya. Sadly, they split up even after they do explode. I'll just use the bomb glove. Explosive hurt! Eat this! You were taunting me, and look what happened. Now you did. You know they split up into two, so when you kill them, does that mean they're mating? Like cellular splitting? I did see the gold bolt, so how am I going to approach it? I don't think you can step on these switches again, can you? No. Luckily, I'm just creating a permanent opening. I'm out of here. Good. Good, good, good. I can get back in if I wanted to. Okay, one leaping strike is all it takes to kill them. Good. Eh, but there's like so many of them. I'm better off doing this. Come here!
There. I believe the best way to get to that gold bolt is if to use the manhole. And then just climb on top of the fence. I'll be happy to demonstrate once I take care of all these enemies first. Remember, I can't just switch the su ah the suck cannon because I temporarily replaced it. However, the suck cannon is good when they're in their smallest form. Okay, that's obviously not gonna work. They'll just send me over here. I think we're coming full circle at this point. All of this is gonna take me somewhere. Maybe it'll take me to that manhole? No, I think the manhole is back here. But I also see a tank. So I want to avoid the tank. No. Whoa, I actually made it! Oh, don't fall off now like a moron. Oh, I was going so well. Now do all that again. Alright, try this again. This time, don't botch it. I actually thought I was really lined up. And just suddenly I fell off. I just got crooked somewhere. Okay, this is where I want to land. Right here. Good. Now I can just step on that switch, and I'm pretty sure it'll just send me out of this maze. If I can jump on the switch, thank you. Oh, ammo. Alright, that was a very interestingly designed level, I, mu I must admit. But we're still not done. There's still the matter of actually getting through all this. Uh, would it be a good time to end the episode here? I mean, I've already accomplished so much. Let's see, you know what? I might as well just do that, so in the next episode, I'll just meet you back here. See you later, everybody, and thanks for watching.